got all your favorites today. Well, I'll be in the den. Scream if you need anything. Hello? Hello? Nobody. See? I'm sorry. I promise I'll be there. Yes? Yeah, I'll see. Who is this? They closed the roads because of that damn storm last night. And I already started making the stew. And now your brother's not even coming. He'll be here. He's never missed my birthday. He's a neurologist, my Greg. High salary. Busy. Very busy. Still, he makes time to be here with his sister because it's my birthday and he loves me. Hello? No, no, it's Greg. Give it to me. There's no one there. Greg? Hello? Hello? Are you sure it wasn't a dream? I'm sure it was about four o'clock in the morning. I'll call the phone company and have them fix it. It was Greg's voice. I know it. Well, maybe he was calling to tell you that he can't make it because of the closed roads. You called? Well? There's nothing wrong here. No, something's wrong. Every time I get phone calls, I can barely hear the person because of all the static. There's no voices. It's probably just your mind playing tricks on you. Well, no, it's my brother, Greg. He's calling because it's my birthday. <laughs> Nobody called. The line's been out the last few days. If you heard anything, it's probably just static. No! I heard voices! He's coming for my birthday. Look, ma'am, sometimes when our mind wants to hear things, it hears them. But the other night, a car hit a phone line and it knocked out all the service on your block. No calls in or out. The car? What happened to it? Kaboom. Just call me if you need anything. And the doctors, they don't, they don't think that she's going to make it. Poor thing. I just have to go. You understand that, right? I, I just have to go. Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
be there soon. When I arrive, I'll set everything right. I promise. Thank you.